Hello folks, Clyde Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays. Thank you for joining us today in our Twinkle Tips Fridays videos. So I was surfing through the x -Lights group earlier today and I noticed a great question and we're going to address that question next. Stay tuned. Welcome back, guys. I have a great question that was asked in the X-Lights group uh, a couple of hours ago, and I want to address this. Well, it's actually a couple days ago now, but uh, I want to address this for Mr. Arthur Cox and uh, also for Angie Harrison. Shout out to both of you. This is a great question, and it's something that comes up. I don't want to say a lot, but it happens more times than, than what most people think about. So uh, one of the things that we need to learn about when we're in X-Lights is, is how we maneuver around in the X lights layout tab so just for instance if you are a, um, uh, a user of a laptop uh, maybe you're familiar with you can use two fingers to scroll with well I really didn't know this was a thing because I it's, I do use a laptop but I always have a mouse with my laptop but I learned that you can use two fingers to scroll with up and down so if you use two fingers in the layout tab I think it zooms in uh, but if you don't, if you have a mouse, then you can use your little scroll wheel on the mouse and you can scroll in and out and you can, uh, you know, change the position from which you're viewing the uh, layout as well. And so this is to answer the question, how do you move your layout around if you happen to have like a really, really big one? So what you would do is if you have a mouse with a clicky wheel, see that little clicky wheel, that little clicky wheel, whenever you click and hold it, and I put this down on the, look, I can move this all around here. If I have a big layout, I can go all around and I can zoom in and zoom out and I can just kind of set this exactly where I want to work on uh, things and get things connected or layout set up and so forth. But I wanted to share that with you. But the other thing I wanted to share with you, if you are on the laptop, you can hold down the alternate key on your Windows keyboard. I don't know if Mac has one of those or not. But uh, you can hold the alternate key. I'm not going to use the little clicky wheel. And I'm going to left click. And bam, look at that. We can do the exact same thing. So if you're on a, uh, a laptop, you have that functionality. But that's not all I wanted to also go over with you today. I wanted to kind of cover a couple of other things that I touched on in last week's video, which was alignment. And so one of the things I see people uh, tend to struggle with in x -Lights is making their display look pretty and neat knitting up. So what I want to do is I want to share with you some of the alignment functions, the size functions that are in X-Lights. And to do that, I have a, a number of different props here that uh, have different issues. Let's, let's say we want to put things in a perfect straight line. If we have this group of selection models, and this is the one we want to align off of, it will align either to the top, the bottom, the left, or the right. Well, what if we want to align off of, let's say, this one? So now I'm going to hold the control key down on the keyboard, and I click on it, and it changes that to be the primary model that you're selecting. Incidentally, after you do that, after you select one of these others, you can move the whole thing across the screen as well. And you can zoom in and out with it, too, while you're still holding on to it. Another, another little thing you didn't know. Let's go ahead and let's begin aligning things. So right click, we'll hit the align. We'll, we'll, align, we'll try aligning to the top, right? So there's the alignment. And now the next thing that uh, we want to do is we want to show you about uh, aligning to the bottom. Let's do that. We'll select all these little mini trees here. We will align to the bottom. Bam. Now they're all in a line. Now, what's the nice thing about X lights? Well, if you made a bunch of mini trees and they're not the same size, and maybe this is the right size for you, or you like this one better, why don't we go ahead and resize them? Because that's something that you can certainly do in X lights. We can hit the control key, select this one, and we can right click and we can hit the resize function. And we can do a match width, match height, or match size total. And we'll do that. Now look at that. We have five mini trees. They're all now exactly the same size. Now, what about that alignment? Let's align to the bottom. So boom, now you got your mini trees. They're all in the line, but hey, wait a second. There's a little bit of difference here. Like this is really close together. This one's not as close. There's a lot of space over here. What we can do is we can uh, select these, select whatever it is, right click. We'll go ahead and try distributing horizontally because that's how we have them set up here. And we'll select that. And what it does is it anchors the left side and it anchors the right side. And it says, hey, distribute these amongst the middle and make it look good. And bam, now you've got perfectly spaced out mini trees. 
Now, what about the other alignment features? Now, we have some, we have some props here. We have, the, uh, we have these little spinners here. If we uh, select all of those and we uh, align them, we can align them to the left here or the right. Let's go ahead and try the horizontal center. See what happens there. Oh, look, it, it centered it exactly with this one here. Now, I suppose we could have... Uh, uh, we could have aligned them to the left or right and it would have sort of done the same thing, I guess. But there's another thing that we could do is we could right click and we could distribute these vertically. And now what it did was it just stretched out everything and all the spaces between them. Now what if you just realized, hey wait, those are really close together for you. What, what if you went like this, moved this one down here, and you selected them again, right click, and you uh, distribute vertically. Now you've got a little bit of space between them. You can also realign them if you wanted to. You could do align to the left or to the bot, uh, to the right. We'll do the right there. There you go. Everything is now aligned again. And uh, oh, we've got the other snowflakes over here. We can do the exact same thing with these. Some of these snowflakes are different sizes, so we could resize those. We could match the size. Boom. While well, they're going off the biggest grid, so that's what that's what it did. And then we can distribute these, uh, distribute these vertically. There, now they're all spread out evenly. So now let's go ahead and try a different type of alignment. Let's say uh, to the left, boom, there we go. So now we've got everything kind of nice, neat, and sorted and situated, but what happens whenever you're working in your layout and you accidentally touch something and you move it? Oh my goodness, now I just moved it. Well, luckily the developers add Control Z, which is an undo feature. So if you hit Control and Z, it undoes the last thing that you just did. And that's a very nice feature. Um, but another thing that you can do is you can select all the models in your layout, and if you don't want to accidentally change something, you certainly can fix it in place by locking it together. Well, that's everything I have for you today, guys. Thank you so much for joining us. This is Clyde signing out from Pixel Pro Displays. If you like the video, please give us a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you never miss one piece of content that we put out. We put something out absolutely every single week. Always try to answer your questions. So if you have any questions, put them in the comment section down below. If you need a little bit more help and you're looking for some expert advice on it, you can join us on Tuesday nights at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Each Tuesday, we hold a PPD Zoom room or a PPD Zoom webinar, and you're welcome to join us. Links are down in the description below. You can find out more by clicking on those. And if you appreciate the things we do here at Pixel Pro Displays, consider joining the PPD Sequence Club where you get one awesome sequence new to the store each and every month guaranteed. We always give you three different choices each month so you have something new or different to choose from each month that you're in the PPD Sequence Club. Guys, thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next video. Take care and bye for now. can right click now that we have this uh, group of props here we can right click and we can use the align function and we can go we can align them to the top bottom left or right now what does that mean so whatever is highlighted so what whoop. So, so what does that mean we can horizontally center them or we can vertically center them so maybe maybe let's try let's let's see what vertically center does boom while that vertically center didn't do anything we wanted it to. Evenly, now we can again align, let's say, uh, let's, let's say align vertically again, oops.